हेलो आई एम विवेक जम्बल टीम मेंबर लेक्सिजन कंपनी एंड माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ यू कैन फाइल ए डाइवोर्स बाय म्यूचुअल कंसेंट सो लेट्स बिगिन अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडियन लीगल सिस्टम द डाइवोर्स प्रोसीजर और द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइवोर्स बेसिकली स्टार्ट एज सून एज डाइवोर्स पिटिशन इज फाइल्ड दैट वे द डाइवोर्स प्रोसीजर इन इंडिया इन इट्स एंटायरली वर्क इज विद इनिटेशन of the filing of divorce petition by either party to the divorce suit and serving of the notice to the other party if the relationship between the parties had has hit rock bottom and the both the spouses have jointly made a decision to split according to the law of the land uh, land then either party can initiate mutual divorce according to hindu marriage act 1955 either party can file for divorce even if any one of the parties is unwilling to file for divorce and is widely known as contested divorce how to file mutual uh, mutual consent divorce section 136 uh, 113 13b of hindu marriage act 1955 is related to provisions of mutual consent divorce and is therefore present divorce procedures to file a mutual consent divorce mentioned in section 13b to file a mutual consent divorce there is certain steps or procedures to follow as well as requirements that need to fulfilled and they are as follows first filing a petition first and foremost both spouses have to seek a decree of divorce by presenting a joint petition for dissolution of marriage to the family court through a divorce lawyer based on the fact that they have been living apart from a period of year or more the they may also disclose that living together as couples did not come to fruition uh, uh, and therefore ha- there has been a mutual agreement or dissolution of marriage both the parties would have signed the petition so first step is filing a mutual petition in which both the parties have to go to court and file a petition that they are living uh, away or apart from each other for more than one year and for more than one year or one year so uh, first step is to file a petition in the court and hire a divorce uh, lawyer who will help them in this uh, procedure second appealing before courts and scrutiny of the petition both parties would have to be present at the family court with their respective divorce lawyer after the petition have been filed what the court would do is analyze the petition with all the file documents the court may even try and reconcile and differences or patch up the strained relations among the parties although if it's ir conciliable then the divorce case would continue until it reaches its logical conclusion so after the filing of petition the court will uh, there will be a session in the court where the both parties will be presented and both the parties uh, court will see the documents they have submitted and will also try if it is possible that to make their relations stronger but if it is not possible then they will uh, there will be regular sessions of divorce uh, for the two parties and third is order for the recon- uh, recording of statements of oath on oath after the court analyzes the petition and it satisfactory the courts may order the statement of parties to recorded under oath so after the petition is filed and the court verified their documents after all the uh, formalities and then third is after recording uh, of the statements which they are telling that uh, maybe the problems or any solutions to the court then uh, they will take oath and the court will record that so uh, this is the third process after the court will scrutinize them and after the then court will file a uh, then court will record their statements on oath and fourth step is order on first motion and elapsing of a period of 6 months prior to second motion with the recording of the statements the court passes an order on the first motion after this step a 6 months time period is allotted to both the parties to divorce prior to filing a second motion the maximum time period for the filing of a second motion is 18 months from the date of divorce petition is presented in the family court by a divorce lawyer the only exception being drawn withdrawing the petition unless the petition is withdrawn mean like so after the court recorded their statement then court will gi- uh, give them 6 months time period and after 6 months time period they have 18 months to file the petition in the uh, to file again uh, the for the divorce in the court fifth fifth is second motion and the final hearing of the matter with the decision made to forge ahead with the divorce procedure and be present for the second motion 
that is after a before 18 months that is for second motion they can certainly do so and get on with the final final hearing involved in this step we are the parties being physically present and statements recorded at the family court the whole step will take place in the family court recently though the supreme court has upheld that the 6 months time period have the parties get can be waived off if the court so wish to the 6 months which were given to the both uh, that is first motion can be waived off can be removed by the court therefore in the su su instances of the parties generally setting settling their marital uh, issues including alimony custody of the child or any other pending issues among the parties the cooling off period of 6 months can be waived off if the courts decide that the waiving period of 6 months would only make them more miserable within the period of 18 months within the uh, period of 18 months if the section uh, session, uh, section uh, second motion is not made the court will not order any decree of divorce it's an established law that the consent can be withdrawn by other party at the at will prior to the court's ordering of the decree sixth step is decree of divorce both the parties in mutual consent divorce would have been consenting to the get a divorce and square without any bone of contention between the parties about alimony child custody maintenance property and so on therefore a comprehensive agreement among the parties is required for the marriage to be dissolved after the trial if the court is convinced about the truthfulness of the what has been alleged in the petition that there has is an, isn't an iota of the probability of reconciliation or cohabitation the court would then pass a decree of divorce making the a divorce final and declaring the marriage at dissolved and according to the facts and situations of the case you may have been an unsure as how to file for the divorce or what are the exact steps however after reading this after i have told you steps you will hope your doubt will be cleared and so go ahead and retain good divorce lawyer to get a divorce thank you